Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about the string reader uh, object. So let's get started. Uh, let's create a object called string reader. I'm going to call it reader and let's create this object. So we have created a file in the last video which is file.txt. So we're going to use this file. Let's add a console.read key. Okay. So to read this file is very simple. What we could do is just uh, write create a string string content equal reader dot read to end, which is a function that reads the entire the entire object. So if I wanna print the content, I just call uh, string content, um, and I do this. So we are reading the entire. Um, content if you want to do that it's a this is one way to do it so this is the entire content of this file okay uh, let's say that i wanna i w w only wanna read one line of uh, this file so what i could do is to just uh, let me delete this just call reader dot read line which will only read one line okay so if your file has more lines let's see let me add more lines to this file so you guys can see quickly okay here's another line so let's save it let's come back i'm gonna run again so i'm gonna see the first line as expected so if i want to read more lines i could do um let me see i could do something like uh while sr dot read line oh, okay Re reader dot read line is different from new a string line equal reader dot read line so let me see I could do this uh, let's come back let's do this so line if I run I should see all the lines of this file yeah I'm only seeing the the second line let me see you guys what I'm doing wrong right here Ah, I forgot this. There is a function pick. So if pick is if pick is uh, greater than zero, I should do this. I think this. Okay, so this is the right function. Is the right way to do. It. You guys need to use a pick function. Okay. Uh, so if you run this, you're going to read the entire file line by line. So thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I think. Uh, I've talked about a little about string writers. We're going to talk about strings later, okay? But just keep in mind that this is just the beginning of streams in C Sharp. So think again and see you guys next time.